Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, this short-term bearish divergence is still currently playing out, while Ethereum just confirmed a new signal, which I'll talk about later in the video, so definitely stick around. First of all, just giving you a quick update here on the daily Bitcoin chart. And basically, over the last one day, not much has happened here on the daily time frame. Obviously, we're still within a larger bullish trend. We're still trading above this previous significant resistance. And as for the daily Bitcoin RSI, this is still extremely close to overbought territories, meaning we're still due to see a bit more of a short-term cool-off, technically speaking, based on the daily RSI. But anyway, zooming into the shorter term this is on the four hour bitcoin chart and right now this short term bearish divergence is still currently active here on the bitcoin charts and so once again like i've been saying over the last few days this simply means we're due to see reduced bullish momentum in the shorter term which means either sideways price action or perhaps a slight pullback in the bitcoin price once again just reduced bullish momentum so i would not be expecting a significant significant move to the upside like this in the imminent short term. And at least so far, this bearish divergence is obviously playing out as expected. And now usually bearish divergences on the four hour time frame last for around one to two days or so before they begin to wear off. And perhaps we could continue the trend later on. But as of right now, this bearish divergence is still currently active once again, because we have not yet made a new higher high in the price action. And the same can be said about the four hour Bitcoin RSI. This is still currently moving to the downside. But of course, this can be seen as a good thing for the larger bullish trend, because even though right now we're taking a pause from the trend as expected, what we are seeing is essentially the RSI resetting back down towards more neutral levels, which can give us more room to the upside later on to once again, potentially continue this bullish trend, considering the fact that right now the trend has not actually broken. We're just currently taking a pause from the larger bullish trend, kind of like what we saw back here. And now if you're taking a look at the Bitcoin dominance here on the weekly time frame, right now the Bitcoin dominance is still seeing a strong rejection from this important area of resistance, which is sitting in between around 47.5% to 48.5%. And now technically speaking, we still need to see a little bit more confirmation of an actual rejection here in the Bitcoin dominance on the weekly time frame, with things like weekly candle closes in the red. And already we have seen one weekly candle close in the red. But ideally, if this next weekly candle confirms a close in the red, that can further confirm a rejection from this resistance, which is basically a signal pointing towards an altcoin season. Because obviously, if the Bitcoin dominance goes to the downside, that means Bitcoin loses market share against the rest of the crypto market, which basically means altcoins are gaining market share. So altcoins on average are outperforming Bitcoin. And that is, of course, an altcoin season. So once again, right now, we are essentially seeing an altcoin season signal flash, but this is still yet to be confirmed with this upcoming weekly candle close. But anyway, now getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this right here is on the three day ETH to US dollar chart. And right now, now, the price of ETH has finally confirmed a three-day candle close above this significant area of resistance, which I have here on the chart in between around 1980 to 2040. And so technically speaking, this is one bullish confirmation signal here on the three-day time frame for the breakout to the upside. But technically speaking, as I've also been saying in recent videos here on the channel, we really need to see at least a weekly candle close to actually confirm confirm this breakout considering how significant this resistance is. And of course, the next weekly candle close is coming up in just a matter of hours. And so if the price simply stays where it is right now at the time of recording this video, then it does look like we might end up seeing that weekly candle close coming soon, confirming this breakout to the upside on the weekly time frame, which would be a big deal. And now if you're taking a look at the daily time frame, obviously we've already seen a couple of daily candle closes 
closes above this significant area of resistance, which means this previous area of resistance should now be acting as new support in case we end up seeing a pullback. But in a much more bearish scenario, let's just say if the price actually dumps back below that resistance, which obviously would be a short-term bearish signal, but in that case, we would have support around here in between around 1770 to 1820. And obviously it's worth mentioning that the daily Ethereum RSI is currently in overbought territories, which basically means sometime soon we are due to see a bit of a cool off from the bullish trend. Because if you're looking at the last time the daily Ethereum RSI was in overbought territories, that was right back here during January this year. And obviously that happened right after a significant pump in the price of ETH as we were also running into this resistance. And not long after that, we did see a bit of a pause from the bullish trend, basically a cool off, a setback from the bullish trend before continuing the trend later on. So once again, right now, just based on the daily Ethereum RSI alone, we could be at a similar stage in this trend right now compared to what we were back here, basically soon to see some sort of cool off or pause from the bullish trend. And now if you're zooming into the shorter term, this is on the four hour ETH to US dollar chart. And obviously over the last one to two days, we have seen a short term cool off in the price, mostly sideways price action, which like I've been saying in recent videos here on the channel does help reset the RSI. And so this is exactly what we have been seeing over the last one to two days. Once again, the four hour Ethereum RSI has been resetting back down towards more neutral levels. And obviously it would be good to see the RSI continue to reset to more neutral levels because basically the lower the RSI goes, the more room we have to the upside on the next leg up considering we are still within a bullish trend. Obviously, if more trend reversal signals start showing up and confirming, I'll be sure to let you know about it in these videos and in real time over on my Twitter. But at least as of right now, we are still clearly seeing higher lows and higher highs. So at least for now, the trend is not broken. But obviously, if the RSI enters well into overbought territories, once again, like I've been saying over the last few days, that's just a signal telling us we've gone too far to the upside too quickly and we need some time to cool off before potentially continuing the trend later on. So that's essentially where we're at in the shorter term. And as for the larger trend, obviously that hasn't changed. And now if you want to know how to maximize your profits in crypto, no matter if the price is going to the upside, to the downside, or simply chopping around sideways like right now, then make sure to watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how to make money if the price is either bullish or bearish. And the video in the bottom left shows you how to make money if the price is just chopping around sideways. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.